Last but not least, someone who took on the Troika and realised that we can't win from any one country. We all have to win across Europe, all of us together. And that's the thinking behind DM25. Yanis Varoufakis, thank you. Well, the trouble with referenda is that they make for odd bedfellows and odder opponents. But there is nothing odd about this particular company here today. The reason why we're here, is it not, is that the two official campaigns, both the Remain and the Leave campaign, are infantilizing voters in a rather cynical and uh, just astonishing fashion. We, on the other hand, rely on investing in reasoned uh, debate and unity. This is why our campaign is different. Unlike the two official campaigns, we do not rely on dodgy statistics. I'm an economist. I can assure you that the statistics of both sides are not worth the paper they are written on. Unlike the two official campaigns, we're not interested in polarizing voters. We are certainly people who come from different political backgrounds, different nations, different political parties. But nevertheless, we stand here in front of you united in our conviction, as, as Anthony said and others, that it is impossible for Britain to have a successful, prosperous democracy outside the realm of a democratized European Union. And it is impossible for the European Union to become democratized without a democratic Britain participating in the process. So we are here to present the radical case for keeping Britain in the, Euro the European Union. The internationalist case for doing so. The case for rejecting the beggar thy neighbor logic of both the British establishment and the Brussels establishment. Our campaign engages honestly with all sides of the argument. So when I hear Brexiters say that sovereignty is paramount, I agree with them. Sovereignty is and ought to be central. But the fact that the British people must never settle for diminished democratic sovereignty does not mean that leaving is going to restore sovereignty to the House of Commons. <laughs> Voting to leave the European Union will only benefit a national oligarchy, a national ruling class, which is particularly keen on ruling over the British people completely and utterly undemocratically. Consider the complaints about the overreach of the regulatory environment mechanism of the European Union of Brussels. We agree it is important to keep a check on bureaucrats luxuriating in the power of their unelected office. But leaving the, Euro the European Union will not change anything in this regard. Britain's establishment will never allow Prime Minister Boris Johnson to leave the single market, even if the voters on the 23rd of June vote to leave the European Union. And so there will be no escape from the European Union's regulatory framework. On migration, which is the other rallying call of the Brexit campaign, I think we should be concerned that the undisputed net benefits of migration are very asymmetrically scattered throughout society. And yes, public services in certain parts of Britain are indeed strained, leaving many with the feeling that uh, they've been marginalized in their own country. However, this feeling is not caused by migration, ladies and gentlemen. It is merely correlated with it. The reason public services are failing is the rolling austerity that cloaks a vicious class war against Britain's poor. A 
a class war that was being waged since the 1980s, a class war that would be waged even if the borders remained hermetically sealed. <laughs> Indeed, we all know that, don't we? Without the labor, skills, and dedication of migrants staffing the National Health Service and other public services, those public services would have collapsed already. And lest we forget, turning the native poor against migrant labor is a variant of the old divide and rule trick that the British establishment honed ages ago to dominate the empire. Today, today the establishment uses the same trick to dominate the domestic natives, to hide austerity's effects, and to deflect anger towards the other, the migrant, the foreigner. <laughs> Friends and opponents ask me very often, how is it that, given my complete failure last year to impress upon the European Union the importance of treating my country men and women humanely, I have the audacity to stand in front of a British public asking them to stay in the same European Union that crushed us? <laughs> Why don't I agree with those who argue, like Tariq Ali, my good friend and comrade Tariq Ali, that speeding up the European Union's fragmentation through Brexit is not such a bad idea? Well. I answer with a question. Will the European Union's disintegration cause progressive Democrats to rise up across Europe, to empower the, their parliaments, to usher in the forces of light and hope, and foster harmonious cooperation between Europeans? No. Not likely. <laughs> Yesterday I read on a left-wing site, a British one, a depiction of our campaign, of the event today, as left-wing turncoats fearing change. <laughs> I have news for those comrades. We crave change. We are working for change. We are campaigning to tear up the status quo. But to ensure that change is progressive, we have to embed Britain's democracy in a broader surge of democracy that runs throughout the breadth and the width of the European Union. <laughs> this is why here, about to sign the London Declaration for a social Europe, a democratic Europe, a dynamic Europe, a peaceful Europe, an open Europe, a sustainable Europe. When I was a student, back in the old Thatcherite era, I had a friend who actually loathed parties. But he used to never miss a single one because he needed to have something to bitch about the next morning. <laughs> now, my message to my British friends is, don't be like him. <laughs> don't stay in Europe just to complain. And my message to you, comrades, is after this event, we must all go out there and campaign, campaign and campaign to bring out the vote that will cause us to stay in the European Union with enthusiasm for our common cause, which is nothing else than taking arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them. <laughs>